Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here, and in this edition, we're going to give you a look at um, the Cadillac Q. It's Cadillac's new um, infotainment system. Um, they're basically their new dashboard. dashboard. It's really cool. It's, it's hard to come up with a way to explain it because uh, until you see it, you don't understand how cool it is. So um, this is at CES 2012, Cadillac showing us the future of uh, their in-car infotainment system. Hey guys, Andrew Evers, we're here at CES 2012 and I am in the Cadillac Q area and uh, tell us what's your name. Yeah, I'm Mike Hishmi, I'm the engineering manager for Q and uh, I ran the UI development team. Okay, and so um, what is Q? Q is the uh, all-new infotainment system for Cadillac and it's actually uh, the displays and controls for entertainment information. Okay. And so um, I actually drive a 2009 CTS so I'm very familiar with what's in a Cadillac but this does not look like what is in my current model of car. Right, yeah you're not going to find something that looks like this in any vehicle so let me, let me give you a little explanation of what we've got. So in the center stack we've got a fully capacitive faceplate. We've got an upper screen that's fully capacitive and a lower panel of controls that's fully capacitive. You see there's no knobs, um, no physical buttons on, on the control panel. You can, um, you can actually uh, use gestures to uh, raise and lower the volume. Uh, it has haptic feedback, so when I press a button or interact with it, I actually feel a little pulse through my fingers, and you can, you can try that. Let me get in on it. Oh, nice. Okay. So this is still beta level. We're tuning it. You'll feel a little bit more as we get closer to production. Um, we've actually redesigned the radio. So in your CTS right now, there's a big silver box sitting behind the screen that's doing a lot of the, the processing. We've moved that elsewhere in the vehicle, and what that does is it frees us up to provide storage. So we've got almost two liters of storage here for you. So when you get in the car, you can drop your wallet or your phone. It's lit. There's a USB port. You can plug your iPod or your iPhone in there and then just shut the door and forget about it because it's got Bluetooth. You get a phone call, it's going to appear on this screen, it's going to appear on the cluster. We'll put the name of the person calling. If you have any uh, picture or any info in there um, on that contact, we'll display that as well. Will it stream your Bluetooth audio? It'll stream Bluetooth audio, yep. We support Bluetooth streaming. If your device supports it, we even can control your device so you don't have to like kind of look at your, uh, your phone or uh, um, or, or your uh, iPod or whatever, we can, we can, you can do it all from the screen. Now tell us about uh, some more about this screen here. Yeah. What's so, going on? So we've, we've completely redesigned the UI and we, we, we spent uh, quite a bit of time researching with customers, trying to understand um, things that they look for and a lot of them basically told us, don't make me learn something new. So the first thing is you're going to notice it's going to be very familiar when you get in if you're an iPod or an iPhone or even an uh, Android or Blackberry user. Right? So we've got a home screen. Anytime I press this home button, it goes to the home screen. Okay. Um, then we've got different applications. This happens to be the audio application. So on all of our views, you're going to have your controls right above your presets. It's going to be very similar to your CTS, but there's some, there's some new things here. So say you're a big preset user, you can use gestures and drag up and you can show more presets. Um, you, can, you can gesture from page to page. Um, if you happen to be like a big, um, a, a big uh, iPod or USB user, you can save presets for those devices, so I can save, like for example, an artist as a preset. Now it's going to see, jump. for example, Jay Z and Black Keys. Yeah. So you can just go in and say, "Play me some Jay Z." Exactly. Like you know, I press this button, it's going to jump to Jay Z. I don't have to go looking for Jay Z. He's right there. I can use voice control for this as well. So it's got natural language voice recognition. I can say, "Play Jay Z." I'd like to listen to Jay Z. I can be very flexible in what I want to say. So I either can use voice or these shortcuts to get to the music that I listen to a lot. Not only can I save the iPod and, and uh, music information, I can save phone numbers, addresses, points of interest, so it's very flexible. Um, the UI is very flexible, lets me customize it. So then I've got navigation with 3D. You can see the 3D buildings um, spinning around right here. We're in, we're in Vegas, of course. You're going to see the casinos and things like that. Uh, one, one of the nice things we did for uh, navigation is when you enter an address probably in your CTS, you've got to do city, then street, the number. Here you can just type it like you do in Google. You don't even have to complete the address. Hit go and it's going to do a search very similar to what a search engine does. So you can be a lot looser in the way you um, enter the address. Okay. should save you some time when you're doing that. Um, of course, it's got Bluetooth phone. It'll pull in your contacts and, and that kind of thing. Um, Pandora's built in. 
We've got XM Weather. Uh, one of the new improvements we made to XM Weather is you can actually display the weather of any city in the U.S. and we can actually also show Doppler radar. So as you're driving, you can see if there's rain or snow or whatever on, on, the, um, on the horizon. Let me stop you for a second, because over here actually you're showing what's playing in the right in front of you so you don't right. have to take your eyes so basically the way we want you to work with this is you set those favorites and things up with this, this is kind of your portal and then you use the steering wheel controls while you're driving so you look in the cluster I can control the radio the navigation system and a phone right from the steering wheel control on the steering wheels I have up down left right enter so for example if I want to change the music here it is right here. yeah so I'm just gonna show you here I'm gonna I'm gonna browse media I'm gonna go to go to my songs and I can find a different song. Oh, I pulled Jay-Z up again. Let's try a different song, right? Uh, so here's a different tune that's coming up right now. And I see the album art. And, and what you notice is it didn't change what happened in the center stack. So I still have my map. So while I'm driving, I don't have to, I don't have to mess with the center stack. I can do that with phone as well. I can pull up my recent calls, my phone contacts. So I actually, I, I disconnected my phone, so I can't show that to you. So I can browse my phone list that's right from awesome. here. Awesome. That's amazing. I could pull in my route. So if I had a route active, um, you could see the um, nav icon there. I would see the route on this um, on this screen. I can actually jump from there and put the map up here in the center if I want to. And then if I don't, if I uh, if I don't like the way this looks or I want to go with, for something different, I can actually change this layout. So while I'm parked, I can do this. I can go into a performance mode. Now the gauges all change. I can go into what we call our enhanced view. The gauges change again. So I, I won't get bored with my cluster. You know, I can That's amazing. do amazing. That's awesome. So cute. When can people expect to see this in their vehicles that are purchasing? I'm in the spring, the late spring time frame, first launching on the Cadillac XTS. That's our long wheelbase sedan. Then on our ATS, which is our short wheelbase sedan. And then our uh, SRX, which is our crossover vehicle. Okay. This is amazing. And um, is this, uh, what's the extra, have you talked about pricing or anything? On the, uh, it's going to be standard on uh, the XTS and the SRX, and it will be an option on the ATS. We haven't released option, option pricing yet. Okay. Well, awesome. I mean, definitely, as a Cadillac fan myself, looking forward to seeing this uh, start getting deployed. This is really cool. So hopefully we get actually a test drive or something. Should bring this to you when it's actually released out in the wild. Um, but until next time, stay tuned. We'll have more from CES 2012 in just a moment.